Hello, it's Dean Moss Slot Reviews, and it is a very good review today because we are reviewing the new Scale Electrics 2011 Club Car, which is the Audi R8 LMS. Now, as you can see, just look, it is an amazing colour scheme. This is a Phoenix Racing car, um, Scale Electrics um, seem to be doing the Phoenix Racing cars quite a bit, along with the Team Wasberg cars, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, just to show you which cars are Team Phoenix, Phoenix Racing side. These are the, these three are Phoenix Racing cars, and um, this was the first one to be released by Skeletrix, and this was the detailed Phoenix Racing car. Uh, never mind the 01. The actual number is 26. Uh, the reason I've got 01 is because I've stuck it on there for my uh, racing, which you may have seen races videos on YouTube because uh, I'm the champion and I'm currently second champion. Never mind about that, I'll do a video soon about that though. Here is the number 98 Phoenix racing car which is super resistant and it hasn't got lights but it has got it's got real lights but it doesn't actually have working lights on it but I've stuck this body on the Phoenix racing chassis the roof lights so that can that this one now has lights and it does work quite well so I might do a video about that so I can show you the effect and moving on to I'll just quickly show you Team Wasberg car this is the Team Wasberg car this is the number 15 one and Skeletrics are doing a number 16 one that's coming out sometime this year third quarter I think it says in the Skeletric catalogue but maybe fourth quarter depending on uh, well, sometimes they release certain cars later than others. Right, so moving back to the club car. To be honest, this is definitely one of the best club car skeletons I've done for a long, long time. Now, when I got my club car, I had a bit of a pushback win. If you've got that on your club car, don't worry, just sort of push it forward gently like that and sort of hold it in place for a while but don't push it hard because the wind does look quite fragile and it would break um, but if you're not bothered just leave it um, yeah because this wind was straight as well all the Audi winds were straight except for this one when I got it and it was just a bit bent back like that there we are look. it looks worse in person though so if you think I'm overreacting then <laughs> but if you're not a club member it is definitely worth getting because just look at it if you're an Audi fan it is a great car it is one of the it is the best looking Audi to date and I think it will be for a very long time unless they do more white and black ones but I doubt there are more white and black ones racing um there, are, there is another white one coming out, and that is United Autosport. Um, so if you want, if you uh, want to, you can uh, look that up on Google, or I might even. It's on one of my uh, lists. It's on one of my videos. It's coming out uh, new for 2011. Check that video out if you want to see the United Autosport car. Audis are very good cars in general, to be honest. Um, very quick. Super resistant ones seem to be quicker than the ones with lights though, probably because of the power being trained. Um, you can get the super resistant ones cheap. This is probably going to be the easiest one to get out of the four so far. This is quite easy to get. You can get that for about 25 quid, which is a reasonable price, considering that it's sort of hard to get hold of. This is very hard to get hold of on eBay. Um, Generally, because very few are actually made, so if you haven't got one yet, you're gonna have to really try hard to get one. Either uh, you could go to slot car shows to try and get hold of one, but you would have to pay full price for it. But yeah, this is probably the rarest one out of the four. Club car one is probably the second rarest, you know, hardest to get hold of. If, to be honest, it is actually the cheapest out of the four because it's only £27.50 to join the Skeletric Club and with that you get a catalogue as well which is worth about six quid so 
already you've made six pound on a car and cars cost about 35 pound now um so really it was honestly that is the cheapest one to get and it's the best looking so if you want a good looking car that's cheap you've got to get this audi so yeah very good cars um this is a good car as well snippy it's light as well so let me just refresh your memory with the uh, product codes this is c3134 audi ra lms team wasberg number 15 which is this super resistant one which is surprisingly the first 2011 car which didn't come with that ergonomic uh screw if you've seen my newest reviews on the jag the porsche and the lamborghini you'll know what i'm talking about if not check those out and you'll know what i'm talking about or actually i can show you right now Here's a ergonomic screw that I've been talking about. It is different to the new normal screws, which are just a little cylinder with this bit on. This has actually got more grip to put on, so you can actually grab it properly and twist it instead of having to fiddle around with it and stick a flat screwdriver in. Um, that's the little. Can you see the little groove there? It, uh, that's for flathead screwdrivers or pennies. Uh, so if you've got a really tight one, you can just put the flathead screwdriver in and screw and twist it. And the product code for the Audi R8 LMS Team Phoenix Racing Skeletal Club 2011 is C3232. And that's this one here. Team and what Skeletal Club 2011 written on the top of it. Just in case you forgot. And if you're looking for... The number 98, which is the blue and yellow one, it, that is C3045, Audi RA, LMS Team Phoenix Racing number 98, which is this one here. And last but not least, Audi RA, LMS Team Phoenix number... Hang on a second. Oh dear, I've pit, I seem to have the same box twice. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, this is the this is the Rowdy. Um, I'll put the code on. Sorry about that. I think I might have picked up the wrong box. But yeah, there you go. That is the Audi, and that's the last Audi. That's the rarest. So Audis are very good cars. This is the nicest one. This is a good car as well, and that's probably one of the easiest to get hold of, and that's the cheapest as well. So thanks for watching.